All right, I'm just gonna make this video to explain and show some of the issues I've been having with the X570 Gigabyte a uh, Aorus Elite, which you can see I have here. And this board has been nothing but a pain in the ass for uh, boot up post issues and sleep issues. Uh, you can read the forums. I got a forum post, which I'll link in the email where I put all these problems already and there's been no gigabyte support whatsoever, as well as all over their forums, people are having similar, you know, posting issues and sleep issues. So I'm just gonna demonstrate. So here I got a 2070 Super, also made by Gigabyte, ha ha ha, and a uh, AMD, the, the stock cooler that comes with a 3700X, which is what's installed, as well as in between. Uh, yep, in there. That's a Samsung 970 Evo, uh, NVMe SSD, nothing special, and then the memory. So that is 4x8 uh, Rip Jaws G Skill. Now, some of these issues, people are going to think that it's RAM related, and if you read my forum post, I've tried everything. I've gone from four sticks to one stick to two sticks, putting it in the A2, A1, uh, A2, B2, or whatever the recommended slots were in the manual. Um, it's all written down in the forum post. It didn't make a damn bit of difference going from, you know, even down to a single stick. Um, so the two issues I'll show, the first one will be the sleep issue. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. All I'm gonna do is manually, you know, here I am, Windows 10, the most latest. You can see I ran a, I recently ran a Cinebench. I can stress test, once I'm booted, I can stress test and I can run, you know, forever, and I will have no issues with stability. I've run Prime 95 for hours. I've run Cinebench. I've run Mem uh, Memtest 86 and 64. Um, I've run Ida 64. I can stress test for hours. I do not have a stability issue because here I am not overclocking. I am on stock settings, which you can see even from this. Uh, I'm running, you know, just a 21, what is it, 2133 is a stock memory. So I don't even have XMP enabled, even though it's DDR4 3600 uh, megahertz C16 uh, RAM, I am using it purely on stock um, and, and I could run this forever. So the first thing I'll show is a sleep issue, which uh, I played a lot with the power settings. Um, there's a whole bunch of, you know, people say, oh, turn off the... Uh, let's see here. Turn off the fast start out, which you can see I turned it off here, and you can play with this, the sleep issues, turn it on and off hibernate. I've played all these with all these kinds of things. Um, so let's start with the sleep issue because it might take me a few times to get this to occur. So basically, I'm just going to put the computer to sleep, give it a moment to actually kind of shut down, and then turn it back on. Now this issue is probably the less frequent of the two issues and probably the less serious in my opinion. I'll show the issue number two, which is really serious here in a second. Um, but this issue probably happens, I don't know, one in every five-ish sleeps, I don't know. So there you go, you see it, it boot up like perfect or woke up from sleep like perfect, no problem. So I'm gonna go back to sleep. Um, and basically what you're gonna see is um, on one of these times it won't wake up, likely the Screen will wake up, but the USB uh, will not come back properly. And uh, swapping the USB ports makes no difference. Um, you can kind of see when it's waking up, right? The keyboard is waking up. Okay, I got mouse, I got keyboard, great. Okay, so it worked again that time. Let's put it back to sleep. Now these issues are common on the uh, AMD platform right now across lots of motherboards, so um, I'm not even super convinced it's this issue is necessarily a gigabyte issue, um, but the posting issue, oops, posting issue, which I'll show after I can make this fail, is definitely a gigabyte issue. And that is why I'm going to RMA the board because <laughs> I'm not comfortable not being able to power up my board or my computer properly. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm wondering if I'm not going to get this issue because actually I turned off the I turned off the um, login requirement. That's why it's going straight and not going to the login screen. So that is a change I made to the sleep issue. So maybe that's gone. Basically, it would come to the login screen. I would have like keyboard but not mouse or vice versa, something like that. And then I would.
would have swapped the ports, but right now I'm five for five, so that's looking pretty good. Give it a few more times, and if it still works, then I will just go ahead and show the major posting issue. Oh, come on. One more time. Wow, it's actually waking up from sleep. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so let's show the posting issue because I this sleep issue I could live with. Uh, that's not really a problem. So all I'm gonna do is shut down the computer. Um, you can see it's shutting down, no big deal, no errors. And the issue I have is when I boot, it will boot, I don't know, one in five times. It's completely random or so. Um, so I'm just gonna hit the power button, no big deal. It's going to boot this time. So the reason I know it's going to boot is the fans spin down. Um, they spin up and then they spin down. You can kind of hear it. Here you can see my BIOS settings. I'm not even gonna bother clicking through them all because you can see on the forum post. Um, but just to show you, I'll go to settings, load optimized defaults, which I already did before I ran this video, started this recording, but just to do it again in the same video. Um, now what's interesting I think is uh, Every time I can make it to the BIOS, I will not have this problem, and it will boot just fine. Um, it, the issue is, well, let's see if that's true here. So all I did was a save, and it's going to restart. Yep, it's going to boot up because this fan spun back down. Um, so it'll boot into Windows, no problem. Great. And then I will shut it down and boot it again until you see the, until you see the failure and why this board has got some major issues. Mm -hmm. So I'm booted in, blah, 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 shut down again. So the issue is related to what people have been calling cold boot. Um, I'm not sure if there's a difference whether the, some people said they've seen a difference whether the, you flip the actual power supply off in the back or not. Um, but I usually don't do that normal use. So. You know, I'm not going to bother doing that. I'm just going to hit the power button. And, uh, oh, it's going to boot again. <laughs> of course, I have the problem a whole bunch, and then I start recording the video, and <laughs> it's a little harder to replicate, but it'll happen. Okay, I'm booted up, no big deal. I shut it down. I guess if I'm really inclined, I can edit the video to save everyone some time from watching. Let it shut down completely, let it all turn off. And we'll go power button again. Oh, oh, and it failed. So here, well, let's see. Yep, so here I know it's not gonna work because the fans never really spun back down. Um, so you can just hear it. the fans are blar blaring, computer's trying to turn on, does trying to do something. Um, my guess is based on what, I mean, I'm no expert, but from what people are saying, the computer's trying to do some sort of memory training, this or that. But here's the thing, I have no overclock. I have uh, RAM that is on the QBL. Um, yes, right now I have four sticks, but uh, you'll have to take my word. I've tested this with even a single RAM stick or dual RAM sticks. I've tried, you know, swapping the RAM sticks around. I've even tried, you know, some RAM from another, from my own personal computer over there. Um, it's, it, you know, didn't make a difference. This problem just happens. This happened when I first got the motherboard on my very first boot, I hoped that you know a BIOS update would fix this, and it has not. Um, I've tried you know basically every version of BIOS that has been uploaded by Gigabyte, none of them have fixed this issue. Um, and you know personally, I would probably wait for it to get fixed because I think it's some sort of software thing or something. Um, but it's not my computer; it's you know my girlfriend's computer and. What'll happen is, uh, you know, I can just let it sit here forever. It won't boot up. Um, if I let it sit and try to reset itself long enough, um, eventually it will probably reset the BIOS. That seems to be, be very common. 
Um, and since I have my, you know, preset, that's okay. I can just go in and swap it myself. But again, it's not my computer. And the person who owns the computer, you know, it's my girlfriend's. I don't trust her to be, she's not tech bio savvy. You know, I built this for her. And I'm afraid that one day I'm going to try to turn this thing on and it's not going to turn on. So that's why I'm sending this back. And I have a mother, I have an ASUS motherboard to replace it already. And we'll see if that hopefully doesn't have this problem. Thank you. And I will put some timestamps hopefully so you don't have to watch the whole video. But there you go, you see it. And just actually, I should probably record it to show how I fix it. So all I do is hold the power button to shut it down. It'll shut down and I'll turn back on. And I just do this a couple times until it boots back up. Um, it's really a painful experience. Oh, see, now it's going to turn on. See, the light turned off, fan spun down. Now it's going to turn on. I'm going to get BIOS. Hey, 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 I got BIOS. Just for fun, I'll go. Oh, I missed the delete key. Sorry. But you'll see it'll boot into Windows, no problem. Um, and it's happy again. So, with that said, I am going to return this motherboard and let Gigabyte and other people have these issues because I'm fed up. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.